You are here, and then you're not. <laughs> Everybody in the room is dying. Fast. Who's buried a parent in this room? Yeah, who's buried a, a, a close friend? Grandparent? Laughing. We're all dying. Fast. Which means, if there's no life without the cognitive understanding of death, read your Tuesdays with Maury. It's yes. so great. You can't, you can't learn to live until you learn to die. And you need to know that you're all dying fast. And so what you got is now. Actors, we're going to talk about this when we do the focus class. But, or the focus seminar. But actors always talk about being in the moment. I'm an actor in the moment. I like to be in the moment. I work moment for moment. <laughs> <laughs> like, duh! Like, what the fuck? If you're not in the moment, you're not uh, alive. You're busy worrying. You're Janu's faced. You're worrying, you're anxious about the moment that's coming because you're trying to do a good performance and you're regretting what you just did because you dropped your light and it's all about you. If you're in the moment, you have to be in the moment. If you're not in the moment, you're not fucking acting. You're some weirdo who's not in the moment. <laughs> and um, you gotta understand how fucking precious those moments are. Like, you must understand the preciousness of them. There's no time to be bored. <coughs> There's no such thing as money. It's not a true commodity. Time is the only commodity. Mm -hmm. You think I'm making that up? That's, that's Shakespeare. You think Shakespeare made that? Time is the character, the only character that appears in each and every one of his plays. Capital T, time. It's in every single play. So he was obsessed with time. It's fast. And in his day, the average lifespan of uh, adult Londoner was 33 years old. So it's really fucking fast. It's exciting. It's so exciting to know that it's brief. Because when you, when you realize, oh my god, I don't have very much time left with this person, you start doing all those things urgently that you really should need to do. And uh, uh, those of you who are on the other side of 40, it starts to become really obvious. But for those of you who are younger than 40, I walked around, I studied my Nietzsche, I had a philosophy <coughs> degree in Nietzsche. I walk around, you're living in the moment. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't actually know what, what I meant. What it means is now is all you got. Because Al Qaeda is going to blow up Mr. Hung's t-shirt shop next door, and that ceiling is going to fall down and crack through, through the head. So this word right now, now, is the last thing you ever heard. So therefore, the word now has to be really fucking important. Important. Eckhart Tolle and all that stuff. You don't matter. You don't. Who in this room, and uh, hopefully there's a few of you, who in this room can name their great-grandmother on their father's side? That's about 4%. And what was her mother's name? I don't know. What was her great-grandma's name? You know, what did she do for a living? What was her favorite color? Did she cheat on her husband? Was her, did her husband cheat on her? Did she find true love and then lose it? Did she ever live out her life's dream? Did she ever see Europe or America? Or, um, you know, was it, did she ever lose a child? Did she ever have a miscarriage? Did she write? Was she creative, artistic? Did she love the theater? She ever be, had a table, you know? Who cares? You don't. It's her blood. You don't give a shit. Yeah, you do. I do. You I get, do. You she got your great grandma. Somewhere in Europe. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, I mean, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, I, mean, you, I don't know. If that. you were trying to keep all that information in your head, you would go insane. At some point, you have to stop and let go. The, the point <laughs> is that uh, it just doesn't really matter because you will be forgotten. You know, and if you really want to go all the way, like at some point, the sun's going to supernova, the planet will blow up. It didn't matter. Who won the Oscar last year? Who won the Oscar for Best Supporting Female in 1972? Who was the great, who was the supporting best actress on the stage in New York City in the 1860s? Sarah Bernhardt. No, she wasn't around. She was in porn. <coughs> she would have been lead. Yeah, that's the only one you can remember. Like, like who, who was the Madonna of the 1500s? <coughs> you? I mean Shakespeare. <laughs> Shakespeare, 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 Shakespeare. It's the only guy you guys know. Name, name the 30 other fucking struggling playwrights, or famous fucking playwrights, from late 16th century Elizabeth in England. Like, I, don't, I don't know, there's uh, Marlowe, Johnson, and Kidd. Ben Johnson? Yeah, I'm saying Johnson. I mean, does it matter? No? You don't fucking matter. You don't. You're gonna die and you'll be forgotten. That sucks. But it also means stop worrying about all the stuff that tied into your <coughs> thinking you're important. Life has no meaning except for what you want to define it as. And so start defining life as what you want. Define what you want. I want to affect change and I want to 
love my child, and I want to listen to classical music because that's who I am. You know, you just you define value as what you like. Your life is your life is your is your palette. Your life is your colors. Your life is your 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 your, your artistry. Do what you want with it, and stop listening to other people telling you what to do. You define life, and we live deeply, deeply because of our insecurity, which is innate because of our you know uh, nature, which I've talked about. We live deeply in a paradigm of everyone else knows the answer to my insecurity. So um, what's important in my life is that uh, I wear the right boots or have the right haircut or that I have uh, a part on a TV series. It just doesn't fucking matter. I mean, I started naming television shows that were really important to me when I was a kid, and you guys don't even know them. Wow. So the point is, you define it the way you want to define it and live your life the way you want. And if you start going, I exist, and that's fucking amazing and rare and exciting, and none of it matters except for what I want to do now, because now is all that's important, then all of a sudden, you're like in this anti boredom You're in this intense, passionate route. You're living out your pain passion. Passion is, um, is uh, joy pain. Passion is, you know, you give your life on the cross at, um, at uh, Cal Calvary for your people in order to wash away their sins. Uh, you're doing the thing that you, you, you're born to die, and then you live it out. But, you know, you also have to get a fucking spear put in your side and you hand, nails for your hands. It's a painful joy. Your lives are joy pain, joy pain, because you're going to die an excruciating death, possibly, or a really slow, sick one, or you'll watch all the people around you worse die, and you'll be the last one standing. Life is hard, man, and it's also intensely fucking amazing to live through that. So embrace your joy pain and go out and do life the way you want. So next time you're auditioning for Starville, don't worry about the fucking, you know, casting, compressing the casting director. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Show up with your passion and be and do the job and, you know, <clears throat> affect people and connect with them. And then, you know, and then when, when you're then being awarded or walking down a red carpet or you have a TV show or whatever, you won't even give a shit because it doesn't matter and you know it. Anybody in here want to win an Academy Award? Do not. Mm -hmm. Raise your hands. Because <laughs> if your life objective is to win an Academy Award, you won't. You won't, and fuck you, you won't. It's a, that's a sick, sick objective. If your objective is to affect people through incredible your craft and, and creating great art all around you with the, with the directors and the, and the DPs and the writers and, the, and you're really connecting with people and bringing your passion and researching who you are and what life is and relationships and psychology and bringing all that emotionality into it and working moment to moment with somebody else and really focusing on them and work, working with great people who want to do that with you, you know, it's possible they might hand you an award. But you're like, by then, you're... Um, Daniel Day-Lewis, I mean, he's got his award, it's kind of like, look at him when he's accepting it, it's kind of mm. silly to him. Mm. What's great is that he's connecting with people, you know? So stop worrying about uh, my agent. <laughs> Complicating life. Complicating life means that you're avoiding the simple truth, which is so complex. You're all dying. That's simple and really complex. Complicated is, my headshot's long, but it's horizontal, and I need this, and I think I'm supposed to be smiling, do I have teeth or not teeth? My agent says this, my agent says, shut up! Callum Keith Rennie doesn't give a fuck about any of that stuff. And I know, it was Callum Keith Rennie who was my client, my wife's friend. Callum Keith Rennie just wants to fucking figure out story and connect with people. And then we give him lots of TV shows for it. <laughs> he probably doesn't even have a headshot. You know? Focus on what's important. Yes, when if you take a business talk with me, I get a little a slightly different version of me, it's me telling you how to succeed in the business, but the core of it is that, that stuff doesn't matter. What matters is you being you, connecting with another, and doing that. That's it. Through story, emotion, and focus. Good, now slating. <laughs> <laughs>